Um, markets may have been in sell-off mode today, but our next guest says stocks are going to go higher in soon. Joining us now on the fast line is Wall Street's biggest bull, J.P. Morgan's Marco Kalanovich, who was recently promoted to chief global market strategist. Marco, congratulations. Good to have you. Thank you. Um, you. you said uh, stocks are going to go back to all-time highs. That was like yesterday. So can you sort of elaborate mm -hmm. um, what the pace is and, and what the nuance is to this move? Yes. So, you know, our view is our mid, mid, uh, medium term view is basically market going to 4,400. Uh, now, short term, there is actually some uh, quite interesting dynamics. Obviously, the weakness in Nasdaq in tech stock is related to higher yields, you know, and we are now coming into the uh, month end and quarter end uh, time period where there is a lot of rebalances, you know. So one is rebalance of these bond equities portfolios. And we think basically bonds will find a bid now. Uh, so you will see some inflows. Uh, inflows into bonds. Now, some of these portfolios may sell equities, um, uh, which would put some downward pressure. However, if yields stabilize and if yield, uh, yields take lower, you will just see actually uh, a NASDAQ and some of the yield sen sensitive stocks move higher, which we think is going to more than compensate for some of these equity outflows. So basically, stabilization of yields and some of these flows we think actually is going gonna, is gonna to basically support both bond market and equity market. So I wouldn't be surprised that in the the next, uh, let's say, two weeks, we actually see uh, both bonds moving higher, higher and equities moving higher. So that's one rebalance. And there is another one, which is rebalance of momentum factor, whereby um, there is going to be basically inflows in some of the laggards, such as energy. So we also think that uh, that sector can benefit. Uh, so it could be a bit of a sort of a broad, uh, both NASDAQ and some of the deep cyclicals like energy uh, moving higher. Hey, Marco, it's Tim. Thanks for joining us. Congrats on the promotion. You've made some gutsy calls on this show over the years at difficult times. You made a call as a, as a house on commodities, and, and oil's mm -hmm. been down 9% over a couple mm -hmm. days. What do you do with this? So it's, it's a little bit of a sort of puzzling move today. So today was obviously one of the largest moves in, 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 in the past year. It's not clear to, to us uh, exactly. You know, obviously some, uh, uh, some fears uh, of uh, coronavirus in Europe, some weakness in physical markets. But we think actually the biggest part was stop loss on a CTA programs, you know, so sort of really non-fundamental move. But basically, uh, 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 some, of, some of the sort of trend followers basically getting quickly out of their position. So, yes, it's been a little bit of a setback. Uh, we do still think that basically reopening is on the pace in U.S. and in Europe might be delayed a little bit, let's say two months. Uh, we have a dollar that is weaker. We have a lot of monetary support and fiscal support. So we think actually uh, that that's very positive for commodities. So I would be buyer of uh, today's pullback, not just in oil, but also in energy stocks which, as I mentioned, will see inflows going into the month and from momentum rebalance. Marco, it's Karen. Thanks for being on, and congratulations also. Uh, let me ask you, this 4,400 that you talk about, how do you get there? Mm -hmm. Is it a higher multiple, higher earnings, or both? Uh, so higher earnings primarily at the back of reopening. So we think sort of the summer we will get economy pretty close to normal in the U.S. And in Europe might be a little bit later, but uh, so higher earnings for sure. Um, you know, and then multiple, you know, you will see some rotation, you know, so it depends exactly where the yield goes. So we don't think on the, on the growth that you have a multiple expansion. You know, if anything, you may have some contraction, but you could have some more multiple expansion on these cyclical uh, uh, laggards uh, uh, that were lagging for a number of years. You know, so I, I mentioned energy, materials, industrials. You guys talked about financials. In financials already, some re-rating happened, uh, happened already, um, and, and there is a quite still a bit, of, a bit of a dispersion, you know, so there's some stock that, that pick up. Uh, 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 earnings multiple increase more than others, you know, like so, uh, but basically more so on the earnings side than, than on a multiple. Um, in terms of your bullish forecast, Marco, what is a risk or what are, what's the biggest risk to that forecast? And does inflation or the concern, the worry about hotter than expected inflation, is that anywhere on that list? So it is a little bit on a list, but more on a rotation side, you know, like so generally higher inflation is good for emerging markets. Mm -hmm. It's good for cyclicals, for, for stocks like energy, materials, industrials. So that's why we are still overweight uh, these market segments. So call it cyclicals, value and emerging markets, uh, because if inflation is to pick up, uh, that would actually benefit some of these sectors while it would hurt, hurt a little bit growth. Uh, although we don't think that we'll get some sort of a runaway inflation that's going to destabilize all of the market. Okay. Marco, great to speak with you. Thank you. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.